Hello, all. You guys, I'm so sorry if you were here earlier. You missed um, there was a little shenanigans earlier getting on here, but hi. Ah, uh, okay. This camera works. Everything works. We're live on YouTube for Pildora Live. I want to thank everybody for joining me today. It's going to be a really fun one because if you were here last week, then you know that I'm typically on here doing a little bit of kitchen time. So we do models at chef, but today we're switching it up and we're doing models that create, which is a pivot. And I think it's really with perfect timing. Um, I had so much fun doing the cooking show, but I'm really excited to explore new things with you guys and kind of show you this new side. So thanks for hanging in there with me as we had a technical difficulty on my end, of course. <laughs> but um, you guys, so currently, let's just start with this. I am in Nantucket, on island, on the beach pretty much. So I'm in isolation, not where I live clearly. So I'm here with all though, I brought all of my collage goodies with me because today we're gonna be making mood boards, which is so exciting to me. This is so up my alley. I've been doing this since I was, you know, really young. I grew up in a house full of artists and, you know, my mom especially was such an influence on me and got me into collaging and mood boarding when I was really young, which I guess isn't very common. Um, so, you know, I thought it'd be a great time to share with you guys this really also sustainable, you know, aspect of art that you can definitely bring into your home and using what you have too, because I think there's a misconception when it comes to collaging and mood boarding that you need to have all these resources, which in some cases it definitely helps. Like you can have all the poster board in the world. You can have, you know, all sorts of crazy glues and finishes and, you know, whatever sources for images. But when it comes down to it, you can really use the bare minimum. And that's what I want to show you guys today, being in a completely isolated situation. Hey, Christina. Um, being in a you know isolated environment like this, it's amazing that you can bring mood boarding and collaging with you wherever you go. And I just want to show you guys some you know, easy forms of that outlet and uh, all the different mediums you can use because seriously, it's amazing. And I'm just excited to bring this to Pildora. I think it's extremely sustainable, which is amazing too. If you have old magazines, you can have tickets from a trip, you can turn it into this beautiful vision board and it all depends on what you're working with. But I'm gonna start by showing you the basics of what I've got here with me. So I'll put you down like that. All right, so welcome to my little dining room table. <laughs> and so to the right of me, we've got all my zines that I brought. Now at my house, it's a completely different situation. I've got like, I wanna say around 50 magazines that I've kept. A lot got um, pretty much rummaged through and I've used all the images from them, like pretty much all the images, seriously. But it's amazing because these are all old magazines that I've had over the years that definitely pass, you know, all the articles and when the information gets outdated, you feel bad just like it going through media like that. And so it's great because they all become a great source of inspiration and then become so many different facets, like whether or not, example, Ashley Graham, we love her, great model. Um, even if I took this photo of Ashley, put it in my mood board, that could be the focus of the mood board or it can be I cut small slices and I use the colors or I take a small bit of texture here. I'm doing like a full board that's blue. And so I'm taking the blue from the allure and like, all those things, those are things that people don't really see at first hand when they're looking at a mood board or looking at an image. Um, and you can do that with a mood board, you can do that with a collage, and I think that's amazing. So I guess when it comes down to all the different types of boards you can do, you can really go any direction, right? At my house I have, I literally have like a interior design board, a food board, what else do I have? A fashion board. I have a direct vision board, which is super fun to make. And I'm thinking next week we'll do like a legit, legit vision board. And um, there's just so many directions you can go. But today I'm going to show you, obviously, we'll, we'll focus and hone in on one to start. So anyways, got all these magazines. As we go through, I'll show you guys why I choose certain magazines and why I don't. And it really comes down to what you're looking for out of your project, of course. But sometimes in unexpected places, you find exactly what you're looking for. So don't be afraid to grab magazines or newspapers or, I don't know, old, you know, think maybe like, for instance, my dad, he reads a lot of ESPN. Now, I would not be the first one to grab ESPN, but there might be someone in ESPN that's getting a feature for their fashion or getting a feature for their like recognizable work. 
you wouldn't think to pull an ESPN magazine and then what do you know, you find one of your favorite images in there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I have a Forbes. Did I bring my Forbes? I had this Forbes with me. I guess I don't have it here. I guess a better example would be V Magazine for me because I'm not like a huge high fashion zine person. But I mean, this one here obviously is very provocative and like high fashion vibes. As much as V's cool, I probably personally am more of like a domino girl, which is kind of funny. Like I feel like a mom right now. I'm like, do I read too much domino? I'm not sure. But I'd probably opt for something like this. But in here, I found some of my favorite photos and some of the ones that go on my monthly calendar mood boards. If you know my YouTube channel, that's what I do there. Um, and so, yeah, I just, my point is keep an open mind, make sure you have everything laid out. So we've got our zines here. We've got our zines here. Here we have our notebooks. So this is one form of a collage plot. Like this is pretty much like one, I guess you could say this is a medium, a medium. Sure. This is a medium for collaging. And I love having a notebook like this. This is a bullet journal because one, the pages are so blank. You can do whatever you want with them. Like there's no lines. It's just dots, which I actually kind of like for aesthetic reasons. So that's great. And then also, if you can see here, I've turned this into a mood board book. This right here is more of like a color board that I really loved. I got this actually just to show you also where all these are sourced from. This is, um, what's it called? Wash, washi tape, wash tape. I don't know. That's a special type of tape that's designed. Put that around the borders. I pulled these um, colors from a Domino magazine. These are random cutouts that I got. This is a stamp here. So cool, little cactus. This is a pull from a uh, the letter P shaped book that I have, and this was a random page that fell out, but it's in the shape of a P. I put that on there. This is from a chocolate bar. I'm not even kidding, guys. This is from a chocolate bar wrapper that was so pretty. And I was like, I need to put that on a mood board. What? So I have that and I have this, which is from a letter someone wrote me and uh, they drew my name really cute. And I thought it was so sweet. So that just shows you off the bat. You can do so many things with the resources you have. Like just look around in your everyday life. If you have any like packaging from food, like I, the chocolate bar, I would have never thought to pull an image from that. If I've had something cool like that in front of me, of course I'd keep it. <laughs> And I'll show you the box I keep it in after so you guys can see how I organize my stuff. But it's just amazing how you can find inspiration anywhere. And for me, all these colors came together really seamlessly. I actually, for this one specifically, I think I ran out of tape that day. And um, I ended up, uh, no, I ran out of glue, sorry. Because I ended up using tape to kind of just put it down like that. So boom, that's a page in here. I'll show you another cool page in here. This was from a trip with my boyfriend. We went to Italy for a friend's wedding and I wrote a little essay here about it. And then I had like our, you know, flights. I had, oh, this amazing business card from a clothing maker there that I went and bought some pieces from and so many funny things. And I got to doodle around it too. So this became a mood board in itself, which was cool. What else do we have in here? There's just so many. Oh, this is just a, this is a funny example. When I was sad one day, I made a things that make me feel a lot better page and fluffy robes were on the page. So I put a fluffy robe in there. So just to show you guys, like you can really have fun with this and explore. It's all about just doing what feels right to you in the moment. And it really isn't about holding yourself back creatively. You know, like you don't have to have a structure. You might go in thinking, Oh, I'm going to make a vision board of my life. And I'm so excited. But then maybe when you're mood boarding, you're like, wait, I'm obsessed with this colorway that's going on here. Let me just put this down. So enjoy it and just let it be therapeutic and I think right now we all could use that just like tuning out for an hour and letting go and letting your creative creative juices flow and just have fun with it and I just want that's that's what I want this to all be really for everybody so without further ado I think we should get started but let me show you what's in here first so this on another repurposed note <laughs> This is a box from a bathing suit I bought. Like back in the day, I bought this really expensive bathing suit <laughs> and I actually ended up using the box, the bottom of the box, like instead of just throwing it out or recycling it. I don't even know if this is recyclable, really. I used it for all of my pulls for my collages, which is super fun. And in that box, I have boxes. So we have two boxes in the box, okay? This is a, this actually looks like a book, which is kind of funny. So it's like you could put it in a bookshelf. 
But um, this is actually a box full of stickers that I've collected over the years. You know, when you go somewhere, like you got everything from the Supreme stickers of the world to this is a funny sticker someone gave me. It says, doctor called me sick. I said, true. Like bizarre, but you know, funny stuff. I've got some like wacky packages. I think these are called those like old stickers from the seventies and yeah, puffy stickers, everything's in here. So I love to collect stickers. That might be something you're into worth considering having your own box for that. So stickers are in here. The other box I have in the big box is this is a old, this is another repurposed container. This is an old, obviously like a colored pencil container and it came in this tin. So I turned this tin into my letter box. So all of the letters and just fonts that I cut out from magazines go in here. And uh, I also have sayings and things I'd want to put like a new leaf. If you want to turn a new leaf and reset with a mood board, right? We've got bomb squad, which is from a cherry bomb article. We've got, what else? Someone was writing about FKA twigs. These are just examples, but also you can cut these letters out individually and create new, you know, if you want to do like, um, what's it called? You know, those like kidnapper letters and they, well, that's not what it's called, but <laughs> you know, those letters where it's pretty much like on a piece of paper and they're writing you a message and it's all the different fonts combined. And that sometimes gets turned into a font. You can make your own with your own letters. So boom, love that for us. So, okay, next up is all the random pulls that I have in here. So I've used everything from old folders from like high school to just random manila folders that I found that just float around. And I put a ton of cutouts. So when I'm going through magazines, which that might even be what this is for you today. Maybe you pull some magazines out and you're like, you know what? I'm going to do a deep dive, see what images speak to me, pull them, go. That's where this ends up going. Because if you don't have a, you know, a project for it right now, like maybe you're focusing on that vision board, right? You might not want to get rid of that image or let it get lost in that magazine, never to be found again. And that's a fear I genuinely have as somebody that like loves to find inspiration in things. So I have these folders. I just place different things. As you can see, this is from the Brooklyn Museum. I've got, I got some sparkly things in here too, like holographic. This was from a project in high school and I still have this. So I'm excited because I'll probably use this to cut out and, you know, make it something pretty. So guys, like I said, you just got to have fun with it and you can organize it however you want. But a lot of this is organized and then a lot of this is just scrapped everywhere. So that's that. We've got, ooh, even a sheet of paper like this. So maybe what I'll do today is I'm going to collage this sheet of paper to show you guys how you can really turn anything into this. Like this is just a random piece of paper that I must have just had from a notebook in high school too or a binder. So I'm going to show you. We're going to turn this cutie pie into something fantastic. So let's get started right off the bat. I just want to get into this and, you know, light a candle, not by your collage station, but set a vibe, play some music, you know, have a moment and we can just sit and chat. I also want to let you guys know for the record that we're now streaming on YouTube, which means that if you want to join the chat room here, all you have to do is sign into your YouTube or Gmail and you can join the conversation. So I know this is the beginning of this, but I'm just so grateful that we can make a space for creativity right now. And, you know, sometimes you just need an hour to yourself. Just let go, unwind, no judgment. And really reset. There's been a lot of trouble in news lately. And I think this is exactly what we need. It's just to dedicate some time to us, our art, and our passions. So I'm just glad we're doing this. And I'm really excited. And I want to thank the Pildora team for letting me bring this here. Because this is definitely a facet of who I am that I love. Just like the food, which we would do in previous streams. And I'm excited to get started. So let's go. Let's just, let's just dive right in, all right? So I'm gonna look at some magazines to start because, you know, I wanna just get, I wanna catch a vibe. Am I gonna go full mood board? Not sure. Am I gonna go color board? I'm kind of in the idea of like a blue color board. Just to show you guys too, like themes, you can work with different themes when you're doing this, but just don't be judgmental towards yourself because whatever comes to you is meant to, and you just gotta run with it and have fun with it. So, all right, let's take a look. I'm going right to Domino because I love Domino magazine. They're great for lifestyle images. If you need some inspiration for like house uh, redecorating or they have great fashion as well. I'm just obsessed with everything that they put out pretty much. 
Ooh, all right, speaking of blue, I'm seeing a telephone that's blue. I'm gonna go straight, I'm gonna go right for the telephone, all right? Where did my scissors go? I think that's another thing. Oh, I didn't actually talk about my equipment equipment that you might need. So I always just have a nice pair. These are actually scissors made for, are these made for decoupaging or are they scrap scrapbooking? These are scrapbooking scissors. You can use whatever you have. I just prefer something with a nice sharp edge that maybe isn't as dull as maybe uh, like, you know, the softer scissors that are in school and stuff. This is a really sharp scissor. Don't play with scissors like this. Okay. This is a nice scissor. I love to have this on deck. I also am a big glitter glue girl. Now, here's the thing. Glitter, as we know, is not biodegradable. T. T. This is something that I found in my house. So when it comes down to sustainability in this world, I want you guys to be very kind to yourselves. And one, first work with what you've got, right? Because that's where it all begins. I'm really fortunate because I grew up, like I said, in a creative household there's glue everywhere, glue sticks everywhere, already purchased, already in my possession. So I start by using up whatever I have. And I think you should do the same because once you clear out, then you can make educated decisions on what types of things you're trying to support, what types of products you actually want to bring in and what things actually serve you in your practice of collaging. So for me, I'm just using up old glue sticks, old glue, and it just shows you too, if you have tape, you can use tape. And I, and some people are like, oh, why would I use tape? You can just double, you know, double back the tape. If you put your collage in like a frame, for instance, like a piece of glass over it, you'll not, you won't even know there's tape there. Some people get freaked out by the texture. It's like, it won't do anything. So work with what you have and then move forward. That's what I got to say about that. Okay. Tangent. Let's, let's continue. I'm cutting out this telephone. I think it's cool. Awesome. I think I'm going to go blue mood board today. Guys, I'm kind of in a mood. What are we thinking? Also, if you are making a vision board, whether this is while we're live or during a replay, please tag me on Instagram. That's like my favorite thing ever. I also get inspiration from other people's mood boards. <laughs> so it's going to be awesome. All right. So with a blue mood board, I mean, this is where you really kind of have to think about, oh, this actually already looks good. I love the lined paper with a, with a phone. Simple, easy, killing it. Okay. I'm flipping through. I'm actually going to go through my cutout photos to start because I think I'll find some accent things in the magazines. But when you're looking in a magazine, don't just go for, oh, just like the blatant photos. Look at this. This is a tile. This is why I like Domino because they have crazy stuff. This is like a tile or something that they're displaying and you can cut this square out and then turn it into a pattern by adding other squared patterns in there and you can just make something really amazing with that. So yeah, don't try to limit yourself off the bat. It's important to just explore it. Okay, so I have my phone down. I'm not someone that likes to instantly paste things down. I think you're going to really be glad that you take your time with this because the moment you paste it down, there's anxiety. What if you want to move something? What if you find another image while you're collaging and you're like, hold up, hold up, hold up. That needs to go where that is. Why did I paste already? Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Then you'll be in good shape. All right, <laughs> guys, off the, I, I mean, it's kind of like I set this up. I swear I didn't. I just found two photos that are talking my blue language. We love a yacht. We do stand a yacht. And Look at this cutie. She's just killing it in the water. Okay, these are both definitely going on here somehow. I almost want to make it so she's like diving. Oh, you know, it'd be cool if she's like in the water, like a huge, like she's like bigger than the ship and she's like laying next to the ship. That's kind of sick. We're doing something, folks. We're doing something. Let's look through here too. I've got fun photo of a model with a bunch of food. She's got a cake, very model that eat. We love that. This is a pretty sick pull. I'm just gonna start showing you pulls as I go. Look at this baddie with like a dope car. These things are happening over here. I'm not seeing too much blue on the back end of these. Am I? No, not really, okay. No blue bullet pulls here, but that's okay. These are all photos that will have a spot in some collage someday. Here's some more fun things that I found that I literally just saved for a collage. We've got a thank you note. And this is from um, the butcher's daughter in LA. And I got this with my receipt. So I just kept it and I was like, I'll put that in the mood board. Cool. Or some collage. 
Okay, looking at the rest of this bin here. Here's a fun one from Juice Press. Assertive women who drink juice are sexy. My friend gave me that. I love that, it's so funny. We've got some random pulls here. Oh, I literally pulled this out of a magazine because I was like, I want to look at those products. <laughs> so sometimes you have those guys too, which is totally fine. I've got a folder here full of fashion related things. Here's a good example of just seeing colors and being like, pull it and use it. So if I see color like this, like this blue on the wall, I'm going to put that in my mood board and I'll show you guys how down the line. Look at that. Pure blue. I just got to trim the bottom part off. There we go. Pure blue. So that's going on the mood board somehow. We'll discuss, we'll discuss random sheets. Here's some more blue. Look at this amazing wallpaper she's got going on. I hate to take away from her. What is she posing for? This is a distinctive wall. Oh, it's an ad for wall coverings. This makes sense. Pulling it. That's going on my mood board. Great. Here's Kanye, who just blew. I'll let that one just, I'll let that one slide. There's just so many directions you can go. And I think that's the beauty of it. And if you're someone like me, that's into aesthetics, but you know, I like for instance, my Instagram, I don't really try to make my Instagram a certain aesthetic. I feel like my aesthetic is all aesthetics. And that's why I love collaging because that's exactly what that is. It's just bringing in everything from every dire direction and just making it cool. And that's why it's fun. This is a sick pull. Look at this like dog fruit. It's like a dog. This is crazy. This is from, um, what magazine was this? CR fashion book with Rihanna, that cover back in the day. I was shook when I saw this. I'm like, whose dog is this? And who let him hang from a rose bush? Like what? I mean, it's obviously fake, but whatever. Marilyn Monroe, a queen. I might keep that pull just in case we want to use it. Here's some more waterfronts, guys. Oh, keeping that. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, here's more blue. This is awesome, too. Like a big bow, like a big blue bow. This is pretty nice, too. We're getting a lot of blue out here. I'm stoked. <gasps> I'm seeing more blue. Oh, my gosh, so much blue. Okay, 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 okay. Getting carried away. It's a funny one. <laughs> A guy from Lonely Island. What's his name? Forget his name. More paper. That's what I'm saying. I just have so much, so many poles and random pieces of paper to use. Oh, I love Isabel Kravitz. Here's some more blue here. I'm going to actually pull a huge chunk of this. Like, looks like she's in front of a blue painted brick wall. That's a good strip of blue there. Okay, cool. We're getting through these guys. I'm so excited. That pop is something different, right, Leanna? So interesting. Andy Jackson. <laughs> Let's see. All right, all right, all right. There's so many directions to go. For all the newbies that are just popping in now, we're doing an all blue collage. I, I, I don't know exactly what, actually it was the shirt. I was like, I'm repping blue. We're about to make moves. Okay, let's see. Mm. There's lots of clippings. Oh, this is kind of cool. Like a little smoothie moment. I've got pink here. Hmm. This would be a great time to use a holographic. I think that'd be super fun to add. Okay. Anything else blue in here? I'm not really seeing blue. I'm seeing purple. This was another chocolate bar cover, guys. I swear. Can't make this up. So I'm going to pop into the magazines now. I pretty much went through this box. So I'm going to put this to the side. Let's go through the zines and see what's going on. I already see like a queen. Zendaya on the cover of Allure with some blue. Let's see what's in here. Maybe there's some blue in here for us. I, You know what I don't like when they have all the perfume samples in magazines? I'm like, are we still doing that? Are we really still doing that? We all know you can't smell a perfume sample the right way when it's in a magazine. I just don't get why they do that. It's so bizarre. So bizarre. 
How bizarre. How bizarre. Okay. I'm going to pull some blue from this too. The fully blue moment. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to go next magazine because there's way too many perfume samples in that one. Is there any blue in here? V magazine. Oh, there's, there couldn't be more blue. Look at this. Blue. Blue. I'm going to pull this blue here. Boom. It's blue. It's blue in this. It's blue. That's not a song. I just made that up. Okay. These magazines are done. Let's start laying stuff out, honestly. I mean, I want to make like, I want something popping to jump out at me so I could throw it in here. Is that so hard to ask? Four. Is that too much? Okay. We love Frank Ocean. Do we not love Frank Ocean? That's a king right there. We can honestly, let's throw Frank in the mix. I think that would be sick. Ooh, there's some cool quotes coming out. Switching lanes. Rebirth of a vampire. Oh, there's some cool things in here. Okay, I'm going to actually go into stickers now. But let's first, like, let's figure out what's going on with this vibe. So we've got the yacht. I'm here for the yacht. I don't know about you guys. We love a yacht. We've got this girl, and she's, like, in the water. Maybe we should just play on the water, because I have a ton of water-related pulls. Like, you see these? So maybe I'm making it, like, a watery mood board. Okay, let's see. I'm excited. And I have these sparkly things going on and then these, so. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a summer board. I might broaden my horizons and say summer board because I wanna make something that feels good. I know right now it's hard to imagine what summer is really gonna look like, feel like, be like. Um, so I'm gonna stick with that. So let me prop you guys so you can see what's going on here. So I'm going to try to make it so it's framed properly in this, but I'm going to soften the edges to this, which is also going to give me more excess blue to work with. I'm not necessarily against that. And I want it to feel watery too. So working with the element and just making it like smooth, carefree. This girl looks like she's having her, she's living her best life. Fun in the sun, killing it. It's, it almost looks like she's like, woo, like partying, but she's just having a moment. And then we're going to go yacht because who doesn't need to manifest a yacht? I'm not really sure. If you're not on that yacht vibe this year, listen, you should be. Why wouldn't you bring in that yacht? Okay. I'm going to trim this part off too because I just want more blue pretty much to... When I say more blue, I mean, I want stuff that I can like paste around. Like, look, I can add this here. I can pull a piece here and throw it in there. It's going to be a, it's going to be a vibe. Trust me. It's going to be a vibe. Keep my favorite GQ cover. Yes, Jack. This is the most Frank touch. Anything Frank touches turns to gold. I'm convinced. Like you can't go, you can't do wrong. There's nothing wrong about it. I think we have some blue stickers too. So we're going to do a little sticker dive for those that are new, the sticker box, welcome. Okay, so we've got, we've got a blue Glossier sticker, which I'm not mad at, we could probably use that. Let's see, do, 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 do. going through, there's so many stickers that it's to the point where I'm probably gonna need to put some in some deep, like when I wanna get rid of stickers, I put them in Depop orders, which is great, because then it gives other people stickers and you know, whether or not they need the sticker, they got it, all right. <laughs> Oh, I've got some mermaid stickers here. Oh, might have to cop, might have to cop. What else do we got in here? We've got, hmm, that's not really like the type I want. Oh, okay, I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna use this and we're going to put letters on top and we're gonna, instead of it being, mil this is from Milk Studios. Instead of it being a milk ad, we're gonna make it something else that looks Awesome. This is a funny one. I just need to show you for the sake of showing you. I bought this sticker in Japan. You know, I when I was there, I literally just bought whatever I wanted. And I'm not mad because the sticker addiction I had in Japan serves me well during collages. But let's just 
all reminisce right now and have a moment, like deep, thoughtful, contemplative moment about this sticker. Can you read it? It says, the boys, the girls, they all like butt. I felt that on an emotional deep level. I don't know what about it. I don't even know what that really means. It's like they all like, like we all have a butt. We all like, but like maybe it's that. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know what that really was, but I had to give them my money for it, right? Like why wouldn't I give them money for making a very bizarre sticker that I don't understand? I don't know, just, just me to do that. Okay, let's get started with laying this out. You guys are tired of me already, I bet, with my rambling. So we're gonna do this with the girl in the water. I'm gonna put like water droplets everywhere, turn it into a blue vibe. So I'm gonna start doing layout. So this is why I pulled a bunch of random clips of blue, like this, for instance. So a corner of blue like this would be perfect to fit on the edge of this piece of paper, which is why I say like, just, you know, have fun with it. So I'm gonna take my glue stick, whatever glue you have, like I said, or tape works. We're using up what we have before we buy new glue. Um, and that's kind of important too. Use up what you got. And that's why I love collaging. Like I said before, you gotta just use what you got. So I'm gonna just start almost like a decoupage type of vibe. We're gonna just start putting the blue down. I've got this corner of blue too. So I'm gonna put that corner here. Also, I don't, I wish you guys were here with me because I, b behind me is the ocean. So I can just hear the waves hitting and it's like, this is ridiculous. So nice. It's been really nice to actually have some time to just do this and get away and hang out with you guys. See, I'm, you know, I started doing this really young. I know Leanna's on the chat. Leanna knows this and I've been making mood boards probably since, man, you know, it's crazy. I have a decoupage box at my house that my mom had me collage with my cousin when I was like five. No, no joke. I was five years old. And you know that I'm such a, like, I'm such a fashion person when like all I put on the decoupage box, other than like all the paper was like big diamonds and jewels and girls would like, it's funny, girls with like towels on their head, but wearing like diamonds and stuff. Like that was the vibe of the box. And I'm like, dude, how young was I making this like bougie box? Like what, what was the drive? I'm not sure. I was too young, too young to be having that type of taste. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this clipping here on the top. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, so just so you guys know, I'm telling you this in all confidence because it's a little bit embarrassing, but your girl has a vision board in her room. So this is what I like to do, right? My room is super clean. I have like a two, what's it called? A two shelf closet on that shelf. I have one shelf, all crystals, all stuff like that. Like, you know, incense, all the vibey stuff on the second shelf. I have all notebooks. That's where this notebook lives. Uh, where's that notebook? the pink notebook that I showed you earlier. I have all my notebooks stacked up so I can do, like I could write in my journal at night cause I always write in my journal. And then the rest of my room is clear. It's like a light gray paint on my walls, like super clean, a vibe. We love that for me. I like it clean, I like my brain, like I don't want it to be scattered brained, right? But what I do have by my bedside table, and if you guys harass me enough, I will, I promise you, I will actually show you, but I'm a little bit terrified. I have a uh, mood board by my bed. That's my direct vision board of everything I want. And it goes down to, you know, I have a screenshot with a Photoshop bank account. I have a, I Photoshop models that eat like on a Netflix show. So it said popular on Netflix and then it showed models that eats logo. So like I Photoshopped everything that I wanted because I'm big into manifestation, right? Like I'm into that stuff. So you know, part of that is visualizing and seeing what you want, what you're working towards. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to make this like very extra mood board. Did it wasn't embarrassed at all, but I look at it sometimes and I have these moments of like, you're kind of extra pojo. Like you really didn't have to go that hard. I pretty much like went down to the wire. I have my, um, what's it called? I have no joke. This is so embarrassing. I have 
a celebrity's body at Met Gala and then my face photoshopped. So I'm like attending a gala. It's not even like Met Gala, but it's just bizarre because I was like, wait, what? Like I look at it sometimes. I'm like, did I actually do that? Like it was in my defense, one o'clock in, in the middle of the night and uh, your girl was having a moment. So I was like, I'm just going to Photoshop everything. And I photoshopped that. I photoshopped like crazy stuff. I don't know. It's a little bit embarrassing to admit, but it shows you the power of mood boarding because already on my mood board, I put crow pose as well in yoga. Cause I want to, you know, get to the point where I can do that. And lo and behold, I'm almost at crow pose. I pretty much got crow pose the day that I um, put it on my mood board. And I was like, there's no way that I did it right. Like, how did I do it so fast? But it really is just about like the energy you're putting out. And if you're enabling it, like if you're focused on the things you like, right. And the things you want, like for me, I like the blue because this feels like summer. I know. So this is where we're at right now, by the way, we've got just blue clippings. I'm going to go like this so you guys can see what's going on here, but I'm putting the yacht right here. Okay. It takes up a lot of the collage, but it's going to all make sense soon. I promise. Um, Anyways, I say all this to say, it doesn't matter how crazy your dreams are. It doesn't matter how, you know, ambitious you're told you are or like whatever your goals are that you're trying to set. And this is what we'll go over next week too. I really want to do like a vision board with you guys, like a full on vision board. Um, you have to be the only person that's pretty much going to put it out there for yourself is you, right? Because no one can read your mind. No one's going to hand it to you. Only you know what you truly want. If you want to sit around and be embarrassed, you can be embarrassed. Like no one's stopping you. But what does that do to serve you? And how does that get you closer to that dream? Like there's nothing embarrassing about being ambitious. I think it's the most um, inspiring and honorable thing is to say like, hey, I, you know, love and see where I am right now in my life, but I want to be somewhere bigger and I know I can do it. And people that shoot you down, if you are surrounded by people like that are not meant to be in your life. I promise. Like you need to surround yourself with people that support you and understand what you're working towards. And as simple as collaging sounds, it's, it's that direct connection with that drive. And it really helps you portray exactly what you're trying to portray. And I just wish everybody ought to do it. And I think a lot of people, I think most people would love to do it really. It's just a matter of knowing how being confident enough to sit down and be like, I'm going to make a mood board. I'm going to put it up on my wall. And you know, it's hard when you don't grow up in like a creative household, or maybe you didn't have exposure to that at a young age, which I feel like in my upbringing I've had and in school even, like I'm surrounded by artists. My friends are artists. I'm just grateful for that exposure. By the way, this is what I like to do. Random tangent. Um, when I like to add texture to a board and because paper, like each magazine has a different quality paper. That's why I love Domino magazine because Domino has like the best quality paper. It's just perfect. It's like perfectly glossy and it rips really well. So it tears like smoothly. Like that magazine is legit. But what I like to do to give a more fibered look is I like to tear it like this. And then look at the edges. You have like the rough cut edges. It gives a really cool vibe. Ooh, and it already fits in well. So this is where I'm gonna put it like right there. Just filling up, pretty much what I'm doing is filling up the white with blue. That's the goal here. So anyways, what was I saying? What was I saying? Lost my train of thought. I, you know, the whole point is follow your dreams. <laughs> if this whole thing had an all encompassing thing, it's follow your dreams, make vision boards, put it out there into the world, and then just see to it. Like you just got to wait it out, but also work really hard and you will get there. But if you surround yourself with the imagery, you're a step closer and you're a step in the right direction because you're just planting that image in your head. A lot of people don't know what they want, which is also fine. I, I still to this day, because I'm so into the like vibe setting stuff. Like if I don't know what my future house looks like, I'm like the horror. Like how can I put myself in a position where I'm just <laughs> falling into the abyss of nothing in the future? It's like, girl, it's not that. You have to learn what you want. And as you grow, of course, you're going to figure out what you want too. So like, don't be hard on yourself if you don't have like a direct depiction and understanding of what it is you want. And that's the beauty of the collaging too, is that you can go through magazines and you can get inspiration as well. Like whether it's aesthetic inspiration or homes. Like I love all the like landscaping magazines that I get from my mom and like our neighbors. 
like sometimes my neighbors will drop off magazines at my house just because they know I collage and they love it. I've even put um little not ads but like on swap meets on Facebook. I've I've dropped in, hey guys, if anyone has like magazines that they don't use, hit me up. And then I get like kicked out of the swap meet because you're not supposed to do that. But I've gotten magazines that way, which is kind of funny. Um, and so yeah, just random things. But the things I will do for a good magazine, like I don't know, buy one. <laughs> Apparently I'll just go off the rails for it. Okay, here's some more blue. I'm just getting kind of like, I'm using what we got here, but it's making sense. So this is what I'm thinking for the board. I'm thinking we do this, add some blue, fill in the gap. Oh, you guys can't see me, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna add blue in here, fill the gap around her, and then I'm gonna have her talking. So this milkmaid thing is gonna say something. She's gonna be talking over this. So yeah, okay. We're keeping it moving. Boom, 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 boom. Also, what are your guys' favorite magazines to go through? I'm interested. Let me know. Because I'm always looking for new things to work with. I really loved, when I was in Japan, I loved the Japanese newspapers because I found that there's so many interesting ads and I love the pop art there. So it's really fun to use those as well. And it uh, diversifies what you're working with. Okay. I'm gonna throw, these kind of look like waves. I could probably add in there. We're gonna actually pull some of this off. Another pull, just like that. Like you guys know, I do like to do that. I'm just gonna pull a piece, throw it in here. I just tear things, guys. I have this one board. When I'm back home, I'll be able to show you next week. I have a board that is like my backdrop for models that eat. So it's pretty much like a huge collaged board that I have behind me when I'm filming. So that's great. Um, and I really, I like surrounding myself with collages too because it keeps me motivated to actually do them. Because sometimes I put away all my collage stuff and then it's like stored away so well that I almost forget to go back to it. Um, so you can always depend on that too. So I'm cutting out of this pool right here to steal the blue from there. Another color steal, if you will. We're just gonna cop the color. So I have this girl like here at this point. Here's the deal. I'm making it look like she's as big as the yacht. And so I'm gonna have her here and then talking over the yacht, like talking to a friend or something. But I'm gonna fit in the rest of the blank space here and up here. So we can do that. So let me show you. We're gonna actually over, um, it's gonna be on top of the yacht. So the, just so the edges don't get weird. We wanna be able to see her whole body. I feel like I know this model, but I, I don't know her name. I've seen her before at castings or something. She's really pretty. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Sick. <laughs> Am I the only one like dying over this yacht moment? Me and my friend Amy actually, so my first mood board of the year is on my calendar at home. Like I said before, I do um, a monthly mood board and it's kind of just like a vibe set reset for the month type vibe. And my friend Amy came over for my January one. So we like kicked off the year together making this mood board. It was really fun. And when we found these yacht photos, which I obviously pulled, she was like, why is this the biggest vibe of all time? Like whose man's is out here on this yacht and where are we going to find these people? I'm like, listen, it's going to happen. Big yacht energy in 2020. And then Corona hit. And so then we're all like, hmm, is it big yacht energy in 2020? But I still think there's hope, guys. I really do think that we could have at least an isolated summer that's like peaceful and able to have like moments of serene nature. Like I feel so grateful that I'm out here right now and able to enjoy this because the beach even just like saves you, you know? You just need that. Okay, there's a little bit of blue in here. Oh, look at this Neutrogena ad. There's a ton of blue there. See, I usually would hate a Neutrogena ad just because of how like commercial I, it's just very commercial. It just feels very extra, I suppose. Okay, we're gonna throw a little bit of this blue in here. Bruh, I'm like on a roll right now. So I'm going to put this blue here, I think, because it fits pretty perfectly in the corner. Why, am I, why do I do that when you guys can't see? I'm sorry. 
So I'm pulling her hand up a little. This was a situation where I glued down a little bit too soon. Um, let me pull you in so you can see what's going on. So I'm gonna fit this blue in right here. And this is a style, I guess the style I'm showing you guys today is a bit more of my collage-y, um, it's like my scrappy collage style, which is more my style of collage typically. And when I do a vision board or something that's a little bit more specific, I tend to go cleaner with the cuts and I want it to be a little bit easier on the eyes in the sense of it's not confusing. But pieces like this are fun because they can be super confusing. And that's also a part of why you like them, you know? Okay, so that's flat. We did that. Perfect. Boom. I'm gonna fill in the rest of the sides too. All right, let's see what we got. Nylon is a hit or miss. Look how funny this cover is. I'm like, girl, what? Um, I find that nylon print, the, the paper in nylon is very, very thin, which could be good or bad depending on your position on it. Cause like I tend to like thin paper like this cause it layers well when you tear it, I'll show you. When you tear it, it rips really nicely. It's smooth. It doesn't really, you know, I don't have issues with the paper quality, but also keep an eye. This is a hot tip. Keep an eye on the paper quality that you like in magazines. So next time that you go and get magazines or maybe even ask family friends or friends that just, you know, hoard that type of stuff and be like, Hey, I'm actually looking for magazines. If you have anything you're letting go of, send them my way because I will absolutely use them in my next collage. People tend to be really excited to do that and, you know, let go of things if it's for the sake of art. So you'll probably find that people are super down to give it to you. Like shout out Julia, a friend who gave me all of her V magazines, which is why I had that one that I showed you guys earlier. And she gave me, she gave me so many magazines, honestly. Like I was so impressed and it was from that Facebook ad or not Facebook ad, but like the swap me ad that I put up and I was like, guys, come here, you know, magazines and everyone did and I was super stoked am I a magazine hoarder potentially is it for a good cause and am I repurposing them yes so you guys can judge me I give you full permission but it's fine so we're halfway done so we've got the girl in the water I think I need to go for more water moments here in order to make it so it's super watery I don't want there to be any question about her being in the water you know what I'm saying like the blue vibe is a blue vibe but we're going to make it super edgy. We're also going to add glitter if this glitter works. So pray for me, guys. Hoping for the best. Okay, so she's like in the water there. Let's see if there's more water vibes for us. We want that. We love that. Um, I'm thinking about next week's too, what I really want to do. I think doing a color board in this um, would be really cool. Just like this one. If you guys are interested in doing like a color board theme next week, let me know. I know the blue is kind of a color board theme, but something a little bit more along these lines where it's like very clear components to the collage. That's a total, I love this aesthetic for collaging and just to have it in a book is so nice. Cause look, all you got to carry is the book and you can have a folder full of images that you love or that you think you want to use and you can bring it anywhere you go. Literally. It's awesome. Okay, we're looking for more water. Am I gonna find, I think I'll actually find some in V again. I'm gonna look at one more time. Water, there we go. Wow, I said water and there's a sheet just of water. Great. Oh. Okay, got it. We'll use some of this real quick. Oh my gosh, and look, there's like bubbles in the water. This is like a beauty ad, I guess. I'm so stoked, that looks sick. Okay, I'm tearing it like this. I kind of feel weird not showing you guys me tearing it. So here, we've got this whole bottom part to fill up. And like I said before, we're trying to make it super watery here. This is extremely watery. I think it's like gonna fit perfectly. So I'm pulling my scissors. Where did you go, scissors? Show yourself. Where did it go? That's so weird. I just had them. That is bizarre. I guess I don't know where they went. How did I 
manage to lose scissors in the span of like 10 seconds. I will never understand. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Let's pull these. Do, 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 do. Water. Love that for us. We're going to go. I'm going to actually layer it. So this is what I like to do. I like to, if I have a piece like this that I want to be abstract with and have over the edge, I fold it to really figure out, you know, where the crease goes. And then I cut it there if I have my scissors because I literally don't know how I just lost my scissors. And then I just tear it down the edge. So then you have a nice subtle edge that you can also keep your shape you were going for. So let me show you. We're going to fill this right here. It feels like a splash coming in, which I really like. And that's great. Okay. All righty. Ooh, it's getting splashy up in here. We're going to get some more going. I've got this water moment, this water moment. So I'm going to tear some more. Are my scissors seriously gone? Like, I don't understand how I did that. Oh, well. They've got to be in here somewhere. I don't know what just happened. Okay. Tearing more water. What are we thinking for the, for the like, uh, thought bubble? Because I'm thinking, I don't, the thought bubble is going to be interesting, right? I think I probably should focus on that now. And we could just trim the bottom. We want her speaking out of the thought bubble like this. But I don't want it to say milkmaid. I want it to say something else. Hmm. Let's take a look in our letter box and see what's going on. Because we have a bunch of sayings in here as well. Okay. Happenings I just found. Let's see what else words. I'm looking for like thin words and statements that can be easily put on this board. There's my scheme now. Rebels with a cause. I kind of like that. I think that would be really cool on there. Okay. This could be cool. How would we make it so you don't see it? Hmm. I want it to be like a summer energy though. Now I'm questioning that sticker. I don't even know if I really need that sticker. Okay, I'm gonna scratch that and go for, we might just paste Rebels with a Cause on here because it is aesthetically aligned with it instead. So I'm gonna just add some finishing touches in terms of turning this more into a pop piece. And I actually just wanna like, Fold this bottom part because the rest of the white space isn't that necessary for me. So this is the new framework, if you will, of the piece. I'm going to piece a little bit in here. When I see white space like this, guys, if you're ever just like, oh my God, why is there a crack here? Just take any piece of like random sheet you have. Also, I'm going to keep all of these. That's another thing too. When I have pages that I kind of pulled from, you can keep these in your big box like I do. And you can use them for color pulls. And so look, I use this little blue piece that I found because that's a good color pull. And it just kind of adds a little bit of something there. So I'm going to take my glue stick. I'm going to put it on. Let's go. Let's just do this. Perfect. Yay. So that's going to be the base of this. So now we can just add the fun random stuff to it. I'm going to make this like a summer energy. So Rebels with a Cause is super summery to me. I'm definitely going to put that on there. So let's take it. Boom. Rebels with a Cause. I kind of like it if it was overlapping with her hand or her arm. Like I said, don't be afraid to tear. I'm just making it so it like lines up with her arm properly. Crazy how that kind of pulled it together, right? Like it just gave it like a different life. Now it turned this into like, it almost could be like a yacht heist. It's like rebels of the cause, me coming out of the water to take over this boat. <laughs> that 
That's like pretty far off, but I'm not mad at it. We could do that. Oh, I'm gonna throw some, um, where did those mermaids go? There's so many papers. I love it though. This is what I love. Like I love just having everything in front of me just like this. So nice and relaxing to have that, I don't know, just surrounded by art in the most literal sense. Like everything around you is from a magazine or from a newspaper that someone creative directed, someone put together, and then you're just repurposing it and turning it into something completely different. And I think that's just so magical. I wish everybody would do this, seriously. Let's just go with this. We're gonna add some sparkles. Look at that, like very fun. I'm gonna do some tears because I can't find my other thing for some reason. But this is gonna be my like finishing touch, I think. Although this was a, ooh, whoa, my table just like, oh, guys, what just happened? Hold on. Is my table okay? The table is breaking. No lie. This table is like broken. I don't even know what just happened. But I'm holding it still. Don't worry. Okay. We've got to finish this collage. We can't let this table fall. So I'm going to take this just like this. And I'm just pulling these into little pieces. But you know on Instagram when you can like put a GIF around something and make it like blinking? Like look at me. That's the idea with these. I'm going to turn this into like look at this girl coming out of the water. Like the lagoon. She's coming out of the abyss. Boom. And so it's going to go all around this girl like that, like a shimmer. That's just like my fun little addition at the end. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, so fun. Like who would have thought? These are literally, guys, when I tell you these like holographic um, shapes, these were letters that I had for a school project years ago, literal years ago. And um, I repurposing them now for this like fun little addition to this project. Like who would have thought, right? So it just shows you, don't be afraid to put things in folders. If it's junk and you're like, I really don't see any reason to have this piece of paper. Like, okay, maybe if it's like, I don't know, a receipt that doesn't, I don't know. I loved all my receipts from Japan, by the way. I put those on collages. But maybe if something like that, that doesn't feel like it's going to make sense for a mood board, obviously recycle things that you feel like need to be recycled, but also don't be afraid to branch out and see something new and, you know, enjoy that too. Um, okay. I'm going to put the last few pieces here. Little sparkly additions. Boop. Around our girl. We're just putting them down. Can you guys hear the shore, by the way? I feel like you can, but I really want to bring you guys to the beach. I'll be I'll be posting a bit from it. Next week is going to be completely different, guys, because we're going to have my full studio for mood boarding. This just shows you. I hope this is just, like, obviously proof that you can mood board anywhere, and that's why it's such a great medium for, you know, just a great creative outlet. You can do it anywhere. You can use any notebook. You can repurpose notebooks that maybe you're not crazy about. I know me as a journaler, I'm obsessed with like, I need a legit notebook. I'm not really into just any type of notebook for when I'm writing. Like if I don't have like a super pop in notebook, then I really don't feel like I'm going to write. I'm not as inclined to because it doesn't feel as like much of an intention with it. If that makes sense. So you can use old notebooks. I've used, um, what are those ones called? You know the camo notebooks that you get and you use in like high school and stuff? You can use those if you have an old one that needs to be used up, that type of thing. You guys, I think I'm pretty much wrapped with this first very speedy, because we had a long intro, <laughs> collage. Here we are. This is the blue summer vibe. I'm here for this. I love it. This girl's living her best life. She's popping out in the ocean. She's got the yacht parked. She's ready to go. She's either about to start a heist with her homies like I would with probably Leanna and Jack and Ella. <laughs> and just, she's about to hop on that yacht, take a deep breath of that fresh ocean air and just live her best life. And you know what? I think we should take after her. I think this is the vibe we're going for. I will send, actually, I'll put a photo 
up on Instagram, but I will definitely be showing you guys next week how I frame this when I get home. Super into this. I love the sparkle too. It was just a great addition. It just gave it like that pop. And I like how rough the edges are with this. It just feels like water and it flows and it's all just kind of like a fun moment. So there we go, guys. I'm so glad that we had this moment to just chat and catch up. And thank you so much for watching. And if you're watching the replay, I hope this is like a great foreshadowing for everything on its way. We've got a great, great, great lineup for the rest of the week, of course, on Pildora Live. So please make sure you don't miss it. So many great courses and classes with amazing guides. And I just feel grateful, like I said, to be able to be a part of this community and share with you this side of me. And I'm just excited to explore. Oh, I hit the amazing lamp, by the way. Look at this like seashell lamp. Just hit it, but amazing. I'm so excited to explore this with you guys more. And I really hope you tune in next week because we'll have a full studio. We're going to have so much fun and we'll do full vision boards. So if you're not following Pildora Live on Instagram, make sure you do. It's just Pildora, like the website, live. And then Pildora NYC on Instagram. And then if you want to just hit me up, any questions, anything involving your mood board, send me a, you know, tag me in your story. I need to see this stuff. I'm just Pojo. And you'll find me there. P-O-J-O. Thank you guys so much. I'm so glad we got to do this. And yeah, we're going to have so much fun next week. I'm just so excited for the future of it. So if you enjoyed this, we're going to have a lot more on the way. Trust me. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you for everyone in the, the chat. This has been so nice. And I will see you all next week. Pojo signing out. Love you guys. Bye.